Well, it's been over, well, almost a month since my last video, May 3rd. And, uh, you know, except for a couple of uh, little ones in between, I haven't really done much. And it's because I got burned out. I literally ran out of steam and, and inspiration. And uh, I recently talked to a friend who has inspired me. And I must say, I will get to work. Um, what I'm going to do, I've got, I've been using uh, a clay called JMAC. And I love the JMAC, but I also love Chavant. Uh, Chavant is a clay I started using back uh, long ago when I first started sculpting. I met uh, the uh, CEO of Chavant in Loveland last August. And uh, he asked if I'd be willing to try some of their clay. And uh, I had him send me a whole bunch of uh, samples. I love the red. This is uh, originally the clay that I started sculpting in back when I first started sculpting. And uh, I really like that clay. It doesn't uh, build up a surface on it. It's just a great clay. Um, I've got quite a few samples. I've got uh, gray samples. I've got uh, red samples. Different uh, huh, styles of uh, clay. I'm uh, going to put some of these on my board underneath this lamp here and that'll soften up the clay. Um, I've got Chavant Incorporated Auto Style Medium Test Sample. Uh, Chavant J. Diard Test Sample. Um, by the way, for those of you who don't know it, uh, Chavant, uh, the formula for Chavant clay was established by a chemist, a French chemist back in the 1800s, late 1800s. And it's been uh, in service since then, making uh, professional clays for artists ever since. I'm going to try all these. So I've got a lot of clays to choose from. I'm leaning towards this red clay though. Uh, I don't know the name of it because I took the package of it off of it long ago and uh, I've lost the uh, name on it. I'm going to start with... Damn, it feels good to get back in the studio. Oh, and as far as moving into the studio, I'm putting that off for a while because it's still really cold outside. And uh, it would take a long time to heat up that studio, even if it did warm up outside. So, I'm going to stick it out here for now. Oh, there. There we go. Oh, I did put the uh, warrior aside, the uh, one holding up the shield. And the uh, reason for that is because uh, I've got a possible commission to do something else. And I'm trying to get ready for that. And I need to break up the uh, thing that was dragging me down, which was that piece. It just had been working on it so long. Since last August, actually. All right. Good night, everybody. Yeah.